like to welcome you each to uh, worship here today at Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church. My name is Roddy English. I'm one of the elders here. Whether you've chosen to join us here in person or whether you're watching online, we thank you for making a decision to spend not just time with us at Tabernacle. We are family. I hopefully, hope you feel welcome, but spending a time with the Lord today. Uh, so today is a special day. As you see, we do have communion, but we also have uh, baptism. Is that, can I get an amen for baptism? Amen. amen. It's always special when someone has decided to publicly affirm their decision to follow Christ. And today we have a, a young lady by the name of Chloe Jenna Sage, who will be uh, entering into the watery grave today. So I'm going to invite Chloe to the front here today. And uh, I know that she has some family here. I'm looking at them, and they are hiding underneath the, uh, the balcony. They're waving. Amen. And Pastor, you like to normally like to invite them up. So we want to invite you because you wanna, gonna, you're going to want to come and sit closer anyway. So family, come join us in the front so you can support Chloe uh, as we go through these uh, baptismal vows. And you can sit up here closer when we're done so you can have easy access to great pictures when she actually uh, enters the baptismal pool. Um, today. So uh, this is a personal one today because I've known this family for a long time and I'm happy to see uh, her uh, taking this step with their support. No, y'all can come up to the front. Come on, we got a, we got a stage here. We got a, a lower stage here. Come up to the front. Come up to the front. So we have grandma and grandpa and mother and uncle and aunt and siblings and uh, a whole crew here. Hmm. We have cousin here as well. Amen, amen. I just want to be invited for the lunch, so get me some black rice when this is some Jiri Jean Jean. Who got that on deck? Uh, grandma, she said grandma does. All right, I'll be following them very closely. So today, um, we're going to, we had an opportunity to go through the uh, extended vows uh, with Chloe earlier, and uh, for the purposes of uh, our service today, we're going to go through the shortened vows here today. So Chloe, I will ask you, can I get a mic? I like when we hear them say, I do, so I like her to have a mic. She's shy, so she loves this right here. here. So I'm going to ask you three questions, and I'll just if you agree with each of them, just say, I do. All right. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, and do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? I do. Do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? I do. And lastly, do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ, to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence, tithe and offerings, and a life of service? I do. Amen, amen. Well, pastor, subject to baptism, I would like to entertain a motion that we accept Ms. Chloe Jenna Sage into full faith and membership of the Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church. Is there a motion? Is there a second? All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, same sign. It is carried. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elder. Chloe, congratulations. You are part of the Tabernacle family. And at this time, I'm going to invite the Tabernacle family to stand with us today in support of Chloe's decision. Chloe, this is your family right here. Right? Of course, there are tons more online. Uh, but the ones that are here, we are in full support of your decision. And at this time, we're going to have a word of prayer uh, over you as you're about to go and give your life to him um, through baptism. Let us pray together. Father, we just want to thank you today for your daughter, Chloe. Lord, we ask in a special way, O oh God, that you will be with her. Lord, that you will bless her. As she continues to grow, O oh God, and mature, 
may she never stray from you. Each and every day that passes, O oh God, may her love for you grow stronger. We ask, O oh God, that you will continue to be with her parents, her village that is here standing, and also the tabernacle family that is standing. May we continue to do everything in our power to be able to help Chloe to forge that relationship with you, that bond with you that shall never be broken. We thank you, O oh God, for your dedication to her. We praise you for your sacrifice. And we ask, O oh God, that you will keep her. And when you shall return, that you will find her faithful. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you so much. In the pool, we have Sister Chloe Saget. And I'm going to invite the Saget family to please come forward once again. She wants to see you all up close. I asked Chloe if there is anything that she would like to share um, with you all. And of course, she's extremely shy at this moment. Um, family, you can come all the way up. You can get all the pictures you would like as closely as possible. For the immediate family, those who have traveled from near and far to be here, Chloe wants to express her thanks. And to the congregation, she wants to thank you all for welcoming her as part of the family. <laughs> she says she's good now. <laughs> Dad, I know you're proud. Can someone give the dad a mic? Good morning, church family. I'm very happy. For a dad and a mom who is excited and happy that you're able to see your little girl get to this stage, where she's able to give her life to God. I'm gonna ask for you to pray over your daughter and this water that's going to be used as a representation of the Holy Spirit that God will continue to bless her. Can we pray? Precious God, Almighty, thank you for this day. Father, you said before we were born, you know our name. And we believe that, Lord. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for Tabernacle Church. Thank you for Pastor God Dutton, Roddy, and the whole church. As Chloe is about to go down and go up, may your Holy Spirit remain on her forever. Keep continuing to bless our family and the whole church. Please forgive our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Chloe, no, I got one more thing to do. Church family, we can't do this without you. And so I'm going to invite those who would like to support Chloe in her walk, if you would please stand with us today. There are individuals also online. 
So what we'd like for you to do at this time is to put hallelujah in the chat. Because this is a big moment for Chloe. Chloe, because of your love for Jesus Christ, you wanting to dedicate your life to him and serve him as Lord and Savior of your life. As a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the entire church says... As is customary, before we take our seats, just want to remind you all that seeing the decision of Chloe today has got to impress upon your heart if you have yet to give your life to him or for one reason or the other have delayed that time that this is the moment where you can still make a decision. We are open to coming right back. I'm open to coming back in the pool today if today is the day that you decide to give your life to him. On the afternoon, after we finish our service, faith is coming in, the other congregation is coming in to have another baptism. And so today is a day of celebration. If God is impressing upon your heart to be in this baptism or the next baptism, don't delay, but make the decision now and let us know so that we can prepare for that moment. Is that okay, church? Amen, amen. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you today. We praise your name today for the decision of Chloe. And we ask, oh God, that as you are moving in this space, that you will speak to the hearts of men and women, boys and girls here today, that each one will hear your voice and respond that they want to serve you. Lord, for those who have never given their life to you, we ask, O oh God, that you will press upon them right now, that they will surrender to you. For those who once were a part of this family or another family, and for one reason or the other, ups and downs of life came in, but they want to now recommit their lives to you. Lord, I pray that you will impress upon their hearts, and even before the end of this service, they'll be reassured that your blood is able to cover all sins. So we thank you, O oh God, and we praise you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, family.